Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to write dynamic queries in stored procedure. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Naveen Raja and he asked me how do you call the same procedure but with different database. In this particular demo I will show you how to pass the database name and the SQL server table name to the stored procedure. So let's jump to the demo. So this is my SQL Server 2019 instance. Let me click new query to open a new query window. And here I can write the stored procedure. So in past I have written some stored procedures where I had to execute the same procedure but with different tables. So what I have done that I have written in a stored procedure and I was passing just that SQL table name and whatever task I am doing in the stored procedure for example if I had to add some new columns to all the tables or if I had to run some data cleansing scripts on all the tables then I can just pass the table name and the stored procedure can do the work for that particular table. So this is kind of stuff that we are going to do here. So we will be going to write the dynamic queries in the stored procedure. So let me just create a stored procedure here. Create proc and I will call my stored procedure as sp underscore get data and then I will declare two input parameters. The first parameter will be database name and it will be of varchar 100 and then the second input parameter will be the table and it will be of varchar 100 as well okay and now i can close this one as begin and okay and now i can write my store procedure code here so first of all i need to declare sql query variable of n varchar max so that i can write the dynamic queries inside this particular SQL variable and then I need to set the value of set at the rate SQL equal to single quote and then single quote okay and then I can write execute sp underscore execute SQL at the rate SQL okay so what we are doing here that I have declared a SQL local variable here of an American type and the length is max and then I have set the SQL equal to blank and I will write my dynamic query inside this particular two single quotes and then we are executing the SQL query which is written inside the SQL variable so this is what we are doing here okay so now suppose I want to select the data from a particular table and from a particular database so whatever database name and whatever table name will be passed as the input parameter to the stored procedure the data from the SQL database for that particular table should be selected. So what I can do, I can write select star from and then I want to pass the database name. So what I can do is single quote plus plus single quote and then I can use the database name variable here. Okay, And then double dot single quote plus plus single quote and then I can use the table name variable here. Okay. So this is how I can just select the data from a particular database. So you can write any dynamic query here and let me just show you for example executing this query and then I will write some more code inside this particular dynamic query so that you can just understand like what we are doing here. So I can click on execute. So the store procedure with the name sp underscore get data has been created. So let me copy the store procedure name from here. Open a new query window exec store procedure name and then the database name so the first input parameter name is the database name so suppose I want to select the data from the SSIS database so I can copy and paste the database name as SSIS and then I need to pass the table name so suppose I want to select the data from the currency table so I can copy the currency value from here and then I can execute this particular store procedure so the data from the currency table has been selected so this is the data from the currency suppose i want to now select the data from the work database and uh, i want to select the data from the employee table okay so what i need to do i need to pass the database name as work here and the table name is employee okay and then it should select the data from the work database for the employee table now suppose you want to add a particular column to the SQL table that you are just passing through. So for example, let me just copy the this particular code from here and what this particular code will do that it will check that uh, 
if a particular column exists in a SQL table. So suppose I want to add a dummy column and you know inside the this single quote if there is a single quote already then you need to just change the single quote with a double quote okay so I can just change it to double quote so I want I will be adding a dummy column here so now in this particular line what we are doing we are checking that if dummy column exist in a table or not okay so if column won't exist then we will add the column otherwise it won't add the column okay and now here we need to pass the value of the table name so because there is a single quote so we can replace it with double quote okay the first one and we can replace the another single quote with a another single quote okay so we paste it to single quote now we need to use the table name variable here so we need to write one more single quote plus plus another single quote okay I will share this script with you and you can find the link in the description of the video so that you can download it and you can use it in your environment as well okay so now if dummy column won't exist then what we will do we will add the dummy column to the SQL table so we will write the alter table statement here alter table and then the table name so table name is this one so I can copy the table name here add dummy and it will be of varchar for example varchar 50 not null default blank and now because in the dynamic queries if you want to use single code then you need to write the single code two times so normally we use the two single code in the default but here we need to pass the four single code okay so this is how we have written the query here that we are checking if dummy column does not exist then add the dummy column and then select the data from the SQL table and now I can just change the create keyword with the alter keyword so that the store procedure can be changed I can execute it so the store procedure has been executed and this is changed now for example if I will execute this second query then a new column dummy should be selected and a new column dummy will be added to the employee table so let me execute it so now you can see that a new column dummy has been added so this dummy column has actually been added to the employee table so if you expand the employee table expand the column so you will see a dummy column here okay and similarly if you will execute the first store procedure then you will see a dummy column so so let me show you that in the SSIS database and in the currency table we don't have a dummy column here okay so now let me execute this particular store procedure and it should add a dummy column into the currency table oh so cannot find the object currency because it does not exist so you do not have the permissions so what is actually happening that here it is actually the store procedure sp underscore get data this has been created in the work database okay so it is trying to find the currency table in the work database but it is not there okay so now what we need to do that uh, we need to pass the database name we are passing the database name here so we need to use a use database keyword here so I can write use and then the database name so I can copy this one and paste it here okay and I can click on execute so now this particular query will run and the database name current database will be changed to the whatever database you will pass here and then this particular query will run on this particular database okay and this select query will run on any database whatever database name and table name you will pass so it will run on that particular database so it won't matter okay so the stored procedure has been updated and now let me just rerun this particular query for the currency table so now you can see that a new column has been added dummy column and if you refresh the columns here so you will see a new dummy column so you can see that we got a new dummy column so you can write a lot of dynamic code here and you can pass any value like any database name or table name and whatever code you will write here that code will run for any table or any database so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much